Hey, welcome to another one of our videos. We're down at Mosquito Lagoon. I'm here with Captain Brian Clancy at Mosquito Lagoon Fish Camp. He's going to take us out. I hope we're going to catch some reds. We're going to catch some trout. We're going to have some fun, right, Captain? You better believe it. I'll put uh, his uh, all his contact info down in the description box in case you guys want to uh, talk to him or you know contact him if you're coming down here. Let's get into the video. Oh, this one's a better one. Just take your time. Back this way with him a little bit. Reel down to him. Just lift up easy. Just lift up easy. Bring him this way. Can you guys see that? Big old manatee down here at the Mosquito Lagoon. I don't know if you guys have ever been here, it is not uncommon to see 20 or 30 a day or more. Look at him. These things are awesome. You can see he's got a scrape on his back where a boat prop is hitting. That's what that white is. They're just incredible, incredible animals. Dallas with another red fish. Ready to go. Hey, we had a lot of fun on that fish trip. That was Dallas. You saw in the in the footage, Tammy's son. First time he'd been fishing since he was like, you know, five or six years old. We had a great time. I had just as much fun watching him catch fish as I did catching them myself, if not more. Anyway. We took those fish back to Mosquito Lagoon. We started doing a fish fry and along comes this huge thunderstorm. Everybody gets wet. The video quality was horrible. We had water drops all over the lenses. So what we're gonna do today, you know, I brought back some of those fish. We're back at home and we're gonna do that same fish fry here and hopefully get a little bit better video quality out of it. We got the flame on this Bayou Classic turned all the way up. You can see we're in the green zone here. I'm gonna start out, we're gonna make some taters. This is the first time I've used this deep fry basket okay gonna get them taters in here maybe get them back down in the pan and get these taters fried up i don't know how long these potatoes been going but they're floating and you can feel them they're get, starting to get a little crispy light brown what i'm going to do is take these off here tammy's going to season them i'll let you tell you tell you how she ends up seasoning them let me get them off here before they burn looking great. I'm going to make some hush puppies now. Okay. And uh, Tammy made this, all right? I know she's got uh, egg, she's got uh, flour, cornmeal, she's got sugar in this. I'm going to put all the ingredients in the description box in the bottom. But she's going to come in here in a minute and show you how she makes some sauces and before this video is over, I'll, I'll let her tell you what she did here on these hush puppies. Okay, but you can't have fried fish without hush puppies, right? You can see these bad boys are starting to brown up. Just a few more minutes. I'll tell you what we're going to do while I'm finishing these up. We're going to get over here and let Tammy tell you about these sauces that she's making for this fish. All right. So making some tartar sauce right now to go along with the fish that Jeff's making. Um, in this bowl, I have dry ingredients. I have some dillweed, I have some salt and pepper, and then I have some 
crushed garlic. Then this is just mayo. And we'll put the exact ingredients in the description box. But I'm, this is three tablespoons. And I'm just going to mix it in to my dry ingredients. And this is just a dill lime tartar sauce. I don't really like mayonnaise, but this is actually pretty good. So even if you don't like mayonnaise, you may like this. All right, so just mix it together. And then, to get it kind of mixed in, add in some lime. This is just one lime. I was gonna use lemon, but they're out of lemon at the store. So just substituted it for lime. It's not really that big of a difference. All right, these are pretty juicy. So after you get the lime in, just mix that up and we're good to go. We'll put this in the refrigerator and let it chill until the fish is ready to go. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna make two different cocktail sauces to again go with this fish that we're making or just making over there. We have some people here that don't like spicy stuff, so I'm gonna make two. One's gonna be spicy for Jeff and I, and the other's gonna be not spicy for everybody else. So first I'll make the non-spicy. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna just take some ketchup. Oh, put, I don't know, about a half a cup in there. Then horseradish. With the horseradish for the people that don't really like spice, I'm going to use about just a tablespoon that in there. Some of this uh, Worcestershire sure, sure sauce, however you say this. And I don't know, maybe a half a teaspoon or so can go in there, right there. And really, that's it. You mix it up and that is all it needs. And you have homemade cocktail sauce for people that don't like it. It's very spicy. That's it. Now we'll make cocktail sauce for Jeff and I. All right. Again, we'll do about a half cup of ketchup. We like spicy, so We'll do double the horseradish. Yeah, we're gonna do triple actually. Okay, we'll triple the horseradish. Again, same thing. You're gonna put the Worcestershire whatever sauce in here, and you can do about a half teaspoon. I happen to like it, so I'm gonna put a little bit more than that. Maybe. Yeah, double it again. To spice it up, I'm going to use some of this chili sauce. I'm not going to use a ton of chili sauce because I don't want to change the flavor of the cocktail sauce, but it does give it a little bit of a kick. So this is just a teaspoon. Okay. Then We're gonna use, same thing, a teaspoon of garlic, and to make it a bit extra kick, we're gonna put some of these health flakes in here, and it's about a tablespoon so of them. And we're gonna mix that up. This will still taste like cocktail sauce. However, it will be spicy and good. So Jeff and I will like it. And if you all haven't tried this, these Hellfire Flakes are super good. You can use it instead of like red pepper flakes. It's really good on pizza, by the way. Okay, that's it. Non-spicy, spicy cocktail sauce and dill lime tartar sauce.
All right, let's make up this fish batter, right? This is gonna be awesome. We got some flour here, we got some cornstarch, we got some cayenne pepper, black pepper, Cajun seasoning, onion powder. We got some uh, cornmeal, paprika, and some kosher salt. And I'm gonna put all of the exact amounts down below. All right, so we're just gonna mix this up a little bit, right? Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Just get it mixed up. I'm going to kind of make a little paste here. What I'm going to do is you can use your favorite uh, Louisiana hot sauce, your favorite hot sauce. I'm going to use a little bit of this Riff Lord. It's a jalapeno kind of hot sauce. You know, what would you say that is? Two tablespoons max. It's not a very hot sauce. You know, if you're using something like ghost pepper or something, do not put two tablespoons in here. And then what we're going to do is I got a 12 ounce can. Golden Monkey. That's right. It's a Belgian triple, all right? If you don't want to use beer, you don't have to use beer. You can use seltzer water in this step right here. But I'm telling you, the beer makes it great. You're gonna deep fry it if you're worried about the alcohol content. The alcohol's gonna get cooked off. No, I don't know, most of it will get cooked off. Uh, but like I say, if you don't want to use alcohol, don't use seltzer water. So what I'm gonna do here is get this mixed up, all blended in. And then we're going to start battering these fish. You can see I've got it all mixed in together and it's kind of like a, a, a just a little bit thinner than a paste, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of those red fish and trout fillets. I'm going to put them down in here. We're just going to get them covered up, right? And uh, we're going to get them good and covered. You see, see how it's nice and sticks to that fish? This is going to be awesome, trust me. And I got that deep fire going over there. All right, so I'm just gonna move these over. We'll show you how to fry them up. I'll finish all the rest of the fillets. Then I'll get Tammy out here. We're gonna do a taste test. She's gonna tell you all about those hush puppies and how we do our fish fries. She's the one that comes up with all these seasonings, certainly not me. And um, see how all this fits together. All right, let me show you what this fish, look at, look at the beautiful color on this fish. Have you ever seen fish look like that before? Hey, we got our fish all fried up. Now, Tammy, I couldn't tell everybody what you put in the hush puppies. Hush puppies. Look at these awesome looking hush puppies right here. Can you see those? Can you, can you tell them what you did? Yeah, so there's flour and cornmeal and sugar. There's onions. There is, I don't remember everything. <laughs> there's, um, Bunch of stuff. I'll have to put it all in the description box. She just kind of, she cooks, she just like throws stuff together and it always turns out awesome. And then I have to go back and quiz her so you guys will know the ingredients. Well, no, I mean, I, I have it all in there, so I can, we'll put it all in the description box yep. for you, but there's a, there's a lot in there. And then tell them how you turned my just plain old fried potatoes into something. All right. So he brought the fried potatoes in and then I took, I like Irish butter. I don't know why. I think it's creamier and it tastes better. So I took um, about a half a stick of the Irish butter and I cut it all up and then I put it in with potatoes and then I took a uh, cracked pepper and salt and parsley and I put that all together and then I put it in the oven at 250 degrees and let that cook. Awesome. And these are your sauces. You already mm -hmm. told them how you made those, right? Mm -hmm. I was busy frying. Yeah. Okay. But we'll so put this them is in the, the tartar too. and one's hot and one's mild, right? Yeah. One's for wussies and one's for us. Okay. So what, we're gonna start with potato, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hey, here's the thing, right? You saw I just made plain old fried potatoes. That's all I know how to do. But I'm sure that she's turned these into something else. <laughs> you did quite good. <laughs> well, you fried them really. Mm. They got all kinds of flavor bursts in them. I mean, it's just more than a potato. Did you put garlic? Mm -mm. I just no? said not to. What is that? It's just parsley and parsley and what else? And pepper and salt and my Irish butter that I like so much. Maybe it's the Irish butter that's given it. It tastes like a sweetness uh -huh. or something. That's the butter. Okay. So I hope you guys can see the color on my fish. That fish looks awesome. Not to brag. Okay. It's kind of a reddish orange. You can hear. It. I hope you. Can, I don't know if you can hear it in the video. It's kind of crunchy. Here, you can have that piece. Okay. 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 And um, I'm gonna take my first bite without your sauce so I can know just how the fish tastes. Okay, I'll do the same. Mmm. That's 
so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a happy dance? <laughs> That's a happy dance right there. <laughs> That's mm. delicious. Oh man. That's now so which good. which one of these are spicy? I want to try this the spicy. One's spicy. Okay. So we're gonna try the spicy cocktail sauce. Okay. You made it from scratch, right? Uh-huh. Well, I mean I didn't make the ketchup part. I really? Worcestershire sauce, you know, but mm -hmm. yummy. Uh -huh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, it's got a little kick to it. I just taste some kick right there. <laughs> okay, hey, Mateo. Look, <laughs> you know. I'm a southern boy. Everything's fried. As far as I'm concerned, everything's so awesome. That's All so y'all, oh, I'm some... sure I'll get some cholesterol comments. <laughs> Just take that little blue pill. That's not the one I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. You take that uh, anti-cholesterol drug. I think my cholesterol might have been getting too low before this. Mm. Oh, you okay. good. You did a good job. You put sugar in this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. I taste the sweetness. Mm -hmm. I get a little onion and a crunch. Uh -huh, and garlic. Mmm. And Worcestershire sauce. I hope you can see that this beautiful golden brown color. I could eat something like this just every day. That's just the way I, I grew up fishing, grew up on a farm. This takes me back. For those of you that don't like spicy, do not worry about this fish batter being spicy. You know, you saw me put a little uh, hot sauce in there. You can leave it out. It doesn't make it hot. It, it's absolutely delicious, don't you think? Mm -hmm. You did awesome. Do you try tartar sauce? I'm not a big mm -hmm. tartar sauce guy. You tried it? Yeah, but that dill is really good. All right, I'll try your tartar sauce. You know sauce. I don't like mayonnaise, and I like that. And then we'll get out of this video, because I'm sure people are tired of watching me eat. They can watch you eat forever, but not me. It is good. Because I can taste the dill. Mm -hmm. I like the dill in it. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks so much for watching another one of our videos. We really appreciate it. You know, we get a lot of uh, support, and, and we certainly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Um, it's Thanksgiving week. Not much of a Thanksgiving dinner, but an awesome dinner. <laughs> I hope you will subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And what else are they supposed to do? They're supposed to click on the bell. Well, we should say, would you please click on oh, the bell? Oh, would you please click on the bell? It's good. Then you'll know if we have a new video where Tammy... Teaches me how to make something else. Oh, and then if you watched where I ate the pepper. <laughs> You're not going to let that pepper go, are you? No, I ate another pepper <laughs> that was a different color because I thought it might not be as hot, but it was hotter. She did. <laughs>